Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another annoying fight. If you thought yesterday was annoying, you are in for a real pain in the ass. Honestly, this fight, I've been playing this game for a long time, but this fight it was really like the end of it. Now you you have to get Onslaught down with the King Groot Deathless and King Groot Deathless does major damage from his SP2 with that incinerate. But you can't use that because Onslaught has 150% reduced potency to bleed, incinerate and shock. How convenient. Anyway, let's talk about the nodes. The nodes, the first one is going to be stylish. So landing a critical hit will add 3 to the attacker's combo meter. Redundant. Nothing to do in this fight. Next one, the annoying one is dulled. The attacker's critical rating is reduced by 50 for each buff on them and it's each debuff on the opponent. So basically, you're not going to crit for the whole fight. So it's going to be a very, very slow slog. As of yesterday, it was enough. Then is going to be past the buck. So every time you will gain a bar of power, you will get a power sting. And if you intercept onslaught, well, what I'm saying intercept, you have to intercept onslaught so you can pass that power sting to him. One good thing with King Groot Deathless is the Furies can help you shrug off that sting, so that is a bit helpful here. There's also Heavy Hitter, so whenever Onstop will use a heavy attack, he's going to go unstoppable. So that opening is also not available to you. Surprise, surprise. There's Miss Opportunity, so every single hit that you dex on his special 1 or his special 2, that is going to give you an energy that is going to give you an energy protection of 10% and if your dex RSP1 properly you get around 8 of those and that reduces all the damage over time that Onslaught applies on you. Oof, that was a lot. So having said that and uh, taking it out of the way, what is the right strategy for this fight? I mean, first learn how to dex the SP1. Well, if you haven't checked out my yesterday's video, let me share with you again. Check out Sim's video right here. I will also leave it in the description, the link for it. And also check out my Alliance Mate Steel22's video on how to dex the SP1. Just here. Check out the description for the link. Now, once you do like a million tries on it and you learn how to dex the SP1, which I'm sure is still not enough, but anyway, once you do that, you can jump back in on this fight and you can try to fight this losing battle but yeah i mean you have to get him down if you need the dupe right so you jump into the fight you start so the first thing you need to do is to start building up those armor ups i think the max stacks is 10 you cannot build more than 10 so you have to really slow play the fight decks all the sp1s is going to be a really slow and a long slog and a bit annoying at some time but the first thing you need to do is to build up those permanent armor breaks now the way you apply permanent armor breaks is throwing an SP1 uh, while you have your Furies active and they consume a Fury each and apply that permanent armor break. Once you have 10 of them, that is the maximum. Now, in usual fights, uh, you will just throw an SP2 and that damage will really destroy the opponent. But because there's a 150% uh, minus 150% potency reduction on incinerate on Onslaught, you cannot use the sp2 so what we're gonna use now we're gonna go to sp3s only and that is where is how this fight is super annoying like it's a it's a loop you get your sp you get your sp1s and get those 10 armor ups and then it's all about those sp3s sp3s you heal up a little bit on the sp3 you go back in and you go do it over and over and over again and you pray to the rng gods come on let me get this done but hey, don't worry, there's this dumb AI that will do some really amazing stuff to you, you will like, not even like, realize like, what the hell happened here. Like, he will just throw a heavy while you're dashing in. Like, where did that come from? They will wait for you before they throw their specials, and as soon as you dash in, they will slap a special on your face. Like, how did the AI got so good at all of that? And they will wait for you to do a backdrop intercept. They will wait for you to dash and then they will go for a backdrop intercept then hit you with a 5 hit combo. So if that wasn't enough that how annoying this fight is, how long this is, this dumb AI is not really helpful. Super duper frustrating fight and it's a very painstakingly slow fight. The actual fight is not that long but 
most of the time you will see me either dexing a special one or trying to find uh, an intercept to go in and attack him now there's another way that you can find an opening is when he triggers his sp1 you wait for hit number four then after hit number four you dash here so this is one two three you dash in here and on the final hit you dash back that gives you an opening but i tried that a bit didn't work out for me got slapped in the face i was like you know what bye i'm not doing that so this was my best run out of around 30 i think 30 36 or 37 tries this was my best run where i was able to bring him slowly down to i think 45 percent before i died and the way i died was amazing as well just because of that ai is it me or if you guys really notice that the ai has been getting like really good like just right there he just intercepted me on my face just waited for me to dash in and then he just throws a dumb you know basic attack on my face and i'm like what the heck happened there so yeah uh, forgive me if i sound really annoyed because this fight just really took out the piss there we go again a 61 percent health now i've been at it at this point for seven minutes and the way it looks like it is going to go another 15 minutes now the next logical question would be can we run suicides i mean you can run suicides you can get the damage but remember with throwing those specials uh, at least in the beginning when you get those specials once to get that armor break that is going to cost you some health but after that the sp3s will not cause you any suicide damage any recoil damage and you can heal back up um, if you're going to take that risk you can take but i did it without the suicides and that worked for me well now just right here i've got everything in place he's down to 56 percent health everything is going well just slowly taking him out sp1 uh, evades are going good too after so much of practice and he decides you know what why this fight is going so well he's not gonna solo me at all let me just kill him and i walk in and uh, i try to do kind of an intercept i think it was at 45 percent health and he just dashes uh, uses a heavy attack right in my face but the good part after all of this now i am not going to ban onslaught in battlegrounds i will be able to take him out so maybe that was the whole intention of learning how to dex his sp1 well here we are so he's at 49 percent health that's another sp1 he's gonna throw my way i'm at 42 percent health i'm chilling i'm like you know everything is going well i'm gonna take him down use a striker over here throw a heavy attack down to 47 percent all is well all right now I'm thinking, you know what, maybe I might be able to solo it and bring him down to 45% and there you go, backdraft intercept right in my face. I'm like, okay, okay, we still got this, we can still, we can still get this. Now I'm going to dash in, get another SP1 out and he's going to throw a heavy attack in my face while I'm dashing into him and I'm like, where the hell did that AI came from? okay that's this wasn't the one but it will happen i just simply died here i did not uh, dex the first instance of the special one but that's okay i revived up i came back in and i was like you know what i can definitely take him out but if you notice here it's already eight and a half minutes and i'm still going on and there's still 45 percent of his life this is probably the most annoying fight in this format since it's launched since all the way back to summer of pain uh I probably this is the most annoying fight it's so painstakingly slow and it's like you have to go over and over again and uh, once you do learn the sp1 decks it just is a beefy onslaught there's nothing too special about it it's just a beefy onslaught with an unstoppable on heavy so you do have to do a lot of intercepts to uh, do some damage onto him but uh, yeah quite an annoying fight to be honest and here we go again sp1 dex and boom so i will leave you to my remaining misery on this fight and i hope you go through the same misery as well and let me know in the comment section how long it took you to finish this fight before i jump out let me just explain how to approach this fight again first learn how to dex the sp1 do the same fight over and over again learn the sp1 decks and check out sims video and steel 22's video once you're done with that then pray to the rng gods right have some good food so 
you can concentrate during the fight and uh, jump in and keep him to an sp1 dex only use four hit combos in that way when you swipe back after a four hit combo you have enough space to dex the sp1 and uh, make sure a striker is equipped that will help you create more space and sometimes you're not getting an opening and your striker is ready you can just simply dash back and throw a striker and that will help you too uh, go in with some good amount of revives i was ready to throw in 25 revives as well but i ended up with only two of them so i got lucky in that regard don't worry if this fight frustrates you it's it's for everyone is the same thing it's gonna cost you uh, five revives is a really good run trust me it might can go up to 10 so but that 10 is also fine because the rewards that you're gonna get with it are amazing not only from the spring of sorrow event but also you're gonna do king groot so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you find it helpful. Well, as helpful as you can get because this is going to test your patience. So if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer them. But really, everything is there in the video because uh, there's nothing technical about this. It's just a beefy onslaught with a bad attitude. So let me know in the comment section and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.